Hello folks. Today we're going to be comparing zero trust networks with traditional VPNs. First of all, in the diagram you see here, we've got a cradle point wireless WAN with multiple cradle point routers connecting in branch, vehicle, and IoT applications. If we take one of the resources here, let's take this video surveillance camera. Let's say that a hacker is able to gain access to this camera. If he gets into this one point with a traditional VPN, it's quite easy for them to move laterally and find other high value targets in the network. If we compare that now with the zero trust network, zero trust networks by architecture, by default, have no connectivity east to west. There is no default connectivity once all these devices are connected into that zero trust network. So if, even if someone was able to get in, they could not move laterally from one position to another. That's why this is much more secure than a traditional VPN. Let me give you a little story, a little analogy. A few weeks ago, I checked into a hotel and they issued me a key card. And they said, you'll need this in the elevator. So I got in the elevator, I scanned the key card, I pressed the number of my floor, and what I found though is that I was able to press my floor, but I could press any other floor as well. This is kind of similar to a VPN. Once you're in, you're in. Uh, and let's contrast that with the new elevator system at Cradle Point's headquarters in Boise. I take my employee badge and I scan that to get in the elevator, and I'm only able to access the floor that I'm authorized to go to. No lateral movement, no security risk there. And that's why zero trust networks are a much more secure solution than a traditional VPN. <laughs>